Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I'm going to do a effect that I've seen a lot in uh, in these like family photos where like a kid or somebody's reading a book, and it's a uh, it's got a glow coming from the book. Uh, I actually just saw a couple of these while browsing along online for a little bit, and I wanted to know if I, there's an easy way, a quick and easy way to create this type of effect. So I have this photo right here, and I'm going to make this glowing book effect uh, appear right here. So the the woman that's reading it looks like the the book is kind of glowing, uh, and just makes it look like a cool little effect. And it's actually very easy to do. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a new blank layer, and I'm going to get my polygonal lasso tool here. And what I'm going to do is kind of loosely draw a, a boxy shape around this uh, per person right here, while excluding some of the book. So I'm going to go to this corner of the book here, and I'm going to go kind like this go around the person like this and being very generous with how much I give uh, to kind of overlap the person and unfortunately the picture I, uh, I chose to do this effect on has the pages open you typically don't want that you kind of want just want the whole book folded over um, but I was trying to find a good photo to use this one and this was probably one of the better ones that I could find and there we go so you can see I just outlined a little bit of the book. It really doesn't have to be very precise. Um, just need to make sure you go over the pages uh, you know, as much as possible. So now that we have that uh, done, what we're gonna do is get a, a standard brush. And I'm gonna make the size of my brush pretty large. I'm uh, kind of changing the brush size. You can go up here and change the brush size uh, right here, or you can use the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard as a shortcut. You wanna make sure your hardness is down to zero, and you want your flow to be down pretty low as well. So probably around 20 will work. Uh, so now what we need to do is choose a color. I'm gonna choose a yellow color here. I'm gonna go down to this kind of yellow, brightish yellow. Um, and that looks pretty good. If you, again, want to choose this exact color or choose any color that you like, you can choose the hex code down here. It is EDBD26, and that'll give you this exact color. And then we'll click OK here. So now what we're gonna do is just kind of loosely paint in this box, just like that. You can kind of feather it out at the top if you want to, just like that. Uh, and now what we're going to do is, again, go get another yellow, but we're going to kind of make it a little bit more washed out. So probably around there. And I'm just going to paint this up at the top, maybe a little bit on the sides here. And we're just doing light strokes, uh, nothing nothing heavy. We're not going like kind of uh, rubbing and scrubbing the color in there. We're just doing a quick little strokes here, uh, just like that. And then maybe we'll get one more lighter color, almost like a pale, pale yellow and just kind of go in there. This What we're basically doing is not making it super even. Uh, so just like that, I think that will work. So now that we have that uh, done, we're gonna take our selection, we're gonna click Command or Control D on our keyboard to deselect that selection. And now what we're gonna do is make a layer mask. We're gonna click on the layer mask button down here, go back to our brush, and we're gonna choose a black color for our foreground. You can choose, uh, do that by clicking the D key on your keyboard and then clicking X, and that will toggle it to a black color. So now is the part where you kinda of have to play around with a little bit. We're going to keep our settings of our brush the same, so flow around 20, 19, 15, somewhere around there, and our hardness down to zero. And what we're gonna do is kinda of go along this edge and just kinda of go again like short little strokes and just take away that hard edge of the shape that we made, just like that. All right, that looks pretty good. So as you can see, we have a little bit of an issue here. It's kind of really covering the person's face. Let's play with a little bit of blending modes to see what we got. So this one looks kind of cool. The hard light looks kind of cool. It still allows the face to be shown. So what we're gonna do again, now that we have that, is go back into the person here and kind of start deselecting away from the person. So we're just removing that effect from the person's face but while still keeping it a little bit on there because again, it's glowing at her. So we'll just do that. That looks pretty good. There we go. So for the most part, that is our effect. We're gonna do one more thing to it, uh, but uh, that is the effect that we're gonna choose. The, the next thing we're gonna do is actually to the base photo here. So we're gonna click on here, go to the photo, and then we're gonna go to Filter, Camera, Raw, Filter. And this will take over the photo into Camera Raw. And this is just an easy way of doing this. I'm going to go down to my effects here. And I'm going to take my vignette. And I'm going to drag my vignette down pretty good amount to right around there. And then I'm going to go to my basics. And I'm going to take my shadows down a little bit. My whites down a little bit. 
highlights down as well and maybe warm up the image. You might not have to do that on your image, but on this one, I'm going to warm it up a little bit. What we're making this happen here, what kind of effect we're doing is to make it look like the book is the one uh, creating the light in a way. So we're darkening most of the image uh, just to make it look like the book is giving out more light. So we'll click OK here and that'll take us in here and you can see it kind of has that effect around there but the book is glowing. Uh, we're going to go back to our uh, effect here. I'm going to take away a little bit more this way. There we go. And then now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to create a blank layer here and we're going to change our color to white on our brush. So I'm going to get uh, toggle with the X key, uh, click the D key and then the X key and that'll give you white as your foreground color. Make our brush pretty small again. And I'm just gonna create uh, kind of like little rays coming out like this. I'm just kind of drawing little rays. Doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. And now we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna blur those out a little bit just to make it not as even, like the book is just uh, not, the, the yellow from the book is not as even. So there we go. And then we can just simply just take our eraser tool uh, we don't have to worry about layer mask on this one. Just take our eraser tool and just erase it from that book part right there. And there you go. So that's a kind of a quick, easy effect. You can also go a little bit steps further here and get some particle uh, particle effects like little, uh, little orbs or something like that that kind of looks like they're coming out of the book as well or do whatever you want to. Uh, but this is just like a simple glowing effect. And if you don't like the intensity of the glow, you can go over here and take the opacity down a little bit, just like that. It's giving, you can see how it's kind of darkening a little bit. You can create another glow and then change another blending mode to kind of play with it a little bit more. You can go back to normal, darken. You can get a little bit more richer color with the color burn and back that down a little bit. It's totally up to you. It's just a cool little effect uh, to apply to your photos. So you can definitely use this for maybe if you take a picture of your kid and your kid's got a, a book open and they can have this glowing effect come out of there. It's a really cool way of doing that as well. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.